Hey, what's up folks, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showcasing my Lightroom editing workflow and a couple of things that I do to help speed that process up so when I'm editing, things move smoothly and things move fast. I know a lot of you are looking for things to kind of like speed up your workflow and these couple of tips are gonna help. So let's jump right into it. All right, so the images that we're editing today are for a client shoot that I did for Dell and NVIDIA. And uh, this, we, I was shooting this, this new laptop. This is the XPS 17. And this video is also sponsored by Dell and NVIDIA, but we will talk about that. We gotta talk about that right now. Um, I just wanted to use the opportunity to, you know, showcase this because the laptop is such a speedy beast. It's so fast. I'm gonna showcase a couple of things that you can do to make your editing and your workflow even faster. Before we um, turn around and start editing, I just, I wanted to, I'm really happy with the way the uh, video that I, I did for them turned out, so I'm gonna showcase that, and then we're gonna jump right into the editing process. Okay, so here is the video that I shot for Dell. I'm someone who values speed and efficiency. You can find me bolted to my desk, using everything at my disposal to express myself to the best of my ability. So when I stumble upon a workhorse like the new Dell XPS 17, I leverage it and use it just so I can get back outside and get adventuring again. That was nice. That was nice, right? I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you liked it. I'm not even gonna waste any of your time. Let's just jump right into the computer and see those things that I do to make my workflow um, even quicker. Thing number one, this is tip number one. I always have a different catalog for every single series of shoots that I do. So for example, if I'm shooting over the course of a week, I'm shooting in one location, I have a different catalog for that for that location. Or if I'm, if I'm just doing one shoot for one client, I'll have a different catalog for that. That helps me to be able to have mobility across hard drives. If I need to make up space and I wanna move, say, a series of images and the catalog, I can just take all that and dump it to another hard drive that I, so I don't have to bother about it. Free, free up space in my SSDs. As you can see, <laughs> I spend a little bit too much time and money on SSDs, so I, I need to have that mobility as quick as possible. So I create a different new catalog for every project that I undertake. This makes my workflow super easy. All right, so we're in Lightroom here. We're just gonna jump right into the editing process. As you can see, as I mentioned earlier, completely new catalog. It's completely empty. It makes editing a very stress-free experience. I don't have to see all the clutter and madness from my previous projects, and I can just dive right into a brand new project, which is, which is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and import the images from this uh, assignment using Control shift i as a shortcut for importing. Now, something, something that happens very, very often when it comes to you know, editing all these high-res images, thanks to all these, all the megapixels and all the cameras that we use now, is that sometimes it takes a lot of time to load the images when it comes to editing. If you're tweaking things or if you're clicking on it and you're trying to zoom in, you, you can't really see every single bit of the image that you want to see. So to, in order to speed up that process, while I'm editing here, I usually build one by one previews. This means when Lightroom imports the images from my hard drive or from the card or from wherever it is, it bakes in as much information into the into the program itself so it doesn't have to take as much time, you know, deciphering the, the metadata from the image or zooming into the nice small details of the image. This makes the editing process a lot more stress-free. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna click that, build smart previews, and the smart the, the previews are gonna be one by one. And um, usually that would take long on some other laptop, but because we're using the Dell XPS 17, because <laughs> we're using the thing with the, this insanely fast graphics card, it shouldn't take too long. I'm just gonna hit import and that should be done in a second here. Okay, um, I left for a little bit, just came back. It looks like uh, the computer is done building smart previews for a total of 633 images. So if I decided to click on one and zoom in as far as I could zoom in, I'd be able to see it in instantly in high resolution, which is very convenient. And if I want to make changes very quickly to these photos, those changes won't take any time at all when it comes to, you know, building those previews 
All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go through the process of selecting my favorite images. What I like to use, uh, this is another tip here, I like to use a couple of hotkeys in order to make my selection process very quickly. It can take a lot of time if you right clicking every time and saying remove photo or set flag for photo and then hitting reject it. That's gonna take way too long if you're doing it for 600 to like 1200 images. So I use the hotkeys X to discard and P to select at the pick. Okay, so I just got done selecting from the whole uh, shoot of about 633 images. I have nine images that I'm very happy with. I'm very happy with the way that they came out. And then I'm done selecting. I'm gonna start the process of actually editing these photos. Now, um, because as you can see, if I click on all these, all these photos have a very similar tonal texture and tonal palette. Um, this is a very important trick. Rather than syncing your edits after you're done with the edit, what I like to do is like to select all the images and use this tiny little button here, turn on auto sync. This will make it so that as I begin to, to edit every single image, all those adjustments will be made across the whole board. So Lightroom is just automatically gonna go and take ahead, what take what I do and just copy it to every single other photo, which makes my editing process very, 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 very convenient. I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go here to the tone and create a nice little S curve that I can manipulate very easily. Bring up the shadows. Drop down the highlights, drop down the mid tone just to give some contrast. I'm gonna come down to color grading here and see if I can shoot some blues into the shadows simply because I, I think that would help a lot. All right, so for the next tip of editing to make your, to make your editing uh, process a lot easier, I found that it's very, very frustrating when you're trying to use a Lightroom spot removal tool. When I go ahead and try and take this out, it doesn't necessarily choose the exact spot that I want to do. Rather than trying to take this spot and look for another spot, what you can do is you can just hit the forward slash key and Lightroom will start toggling between a whole bunch of different values that it can use to make that replacement and until you're able to find one that you're very, very happy with. And boom, that is that is it. That Those are those tiny little tricks that I use to edit very quickly when it comes to editing client photos or editing a large batch of photos that I need to get out to somebody very quickly, that's kind of like the skill set that I use. Now you can further go on to every single other image and begin to individually tweak and to make those changes to make the images look as more like you want it. Like for example, I might give this a, a little bit more of a reddish hue, but moving it into the magenta direction. Uh, I might do the same here for this nice little laptop one. And just like that, uh, I think we're done. Now, before I end this video, I shot a, sp a really funny sponsor segment for this video. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass this over to Carl and he's gonna tell you more about this really cool laptop. All right, peace. This video is brought to you by Dell and NVIDIA. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 GPU. A mouthful, I know. Accelerates my workflow with incredible boost in performance and speed. That means less time staring at a spinning wheel of death and more time creating even faster. Dell XPS 17 has undergone extreme testing with leading creative applications to deliver the performance and the reliability that you need. So now you can create at the speed of imagination with this absolutely fantastic tool for creation. Thank you so much to the folks at Dell for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you liked this little sponsored segment. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. That was a plan.